This is the Tour de France 2017 Stage 9. The most nutty descent I think I've ever seen. Mont du Chat. They did it in the Dauphiné and they did it in the Tour. There's an elite group going over the front with Fabio Aran. Fabio, sorry, Fabio Aran. Fabio Aru, Aran, Bardet. And here we go. Straight away, big crash. Dan Martin, Richie Paul. We're not sure what happened. We're going to watch it back. And you'll see it really was something else. But anyway, it was a pretty elite group. Froome there was, was there. Bargui was off the front. He'd attack from the break. Um, but look at the corners, it's sort of off camber here, quite narrow roads as well, really hard to see through the corners, but watch this, so Richie Port goes around this corner, carrying too much speed, and then just goes straight into the grass, wipes out Dan Martin as well, Oran gets stuck in the 11 after this, and Bardet managed to save it, but it really was something else, we're going to see another highlight of this, but it was an absolutely crazy crash, and it really ruined Dan Martin and Richie Port's chance of ever getting on the podium or winning, uh, the Tour de France, to be honest, uh, respectively. But anyway, we're going to see this again. Bardet's taking some nice lines. To, I mean, sorry, Bardet's taking some nice lines. But look at this. Just round the corner, you can just see the speed he hits it just straight over onto the grass. And I think we're going to go show some more footage further down because this descent was just was so technical, but also just so hard to see around the corner. You can see it's wooded. You can't really see what's coming up. If you're also the third, fourth man, you can see here, Fugel Sang takes an absolutely terrible line around here compared to Bardet and Froome. You can see he goes in too early, breaks, straight lines it, goes around. And look how much speed he's lost around there compared to Aru and Uran. And you can see here, he's really just lost his confidence, Fugel Sang, because he's actually a really good descent. He's come from mountain biking. But again, on this descent, you can just see it's like, it's so hard to see what's coming up with the trees. You can see he's just lost the confidence around that corner. You can see that corner, you don't really need to break that much. But he's really, really heavy on the brakes. And then just lose the speed. And then, you know, when the men mental, when the brain's gone, it's really hard to come back. Here's Bardet on the top tube. A weird top tube, but sitting sort of side on. But he knows this descent very well. I have some more videos on him because the way he sees a corner is just unbelievable. You can see here again, big breaks into the corner. Big licks around it. Doesn't take, you know, necessarily straight on the apex, but carries a lot of speed. Big acceleration out of it. And he's just looking really, really smooth on the descent. And there's actually put a big gap. You can see Froome coming around this corner again. He takes it quite wide as well. And Bardet coming into the bottom section, you'll again see that he, he really is just can see through the corners. He knows exactly where it is, leans it over and just carries so much speed into the next one. And again, not much on the brakes really here either. Double checks, goes into the left-hand corner. But again, like really tries to use as much as the road as possible. But yes, sees the corners really well. And he then uh, bridges to Bargui. You can see focus on here though, on the less um, sort of more visible parts, he's actually taking okay lines and is, is really not, okay, is not going too badly around them. Okay, it wasn't perfect corner, but you can see it really is a confidence game. Anyway, coming to the final 200 meters, they all get, got back together. Bardet launches early. Then we got Bargui. Uran's on the left. He's in 11, goes goes pretty early as well, to be fair. And he just holds them off from the front. Bargui reckon he had it on the bike throw, but alas, the big man did not. And Uran took the win. But anyway, that was an absolutely mental descent. Uh, really sad for Richie Port and uh, Bar and uh, Dan Martin at the time he crashed. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.